Tyler Wheeler and Will Clyde Richard. We see the tap controlled by the Noblesville Millers, Leland Brown. He's joined by Andrew Lively, Jake Yuri, Michael Dennis, and Daniel Pervalicious. Noblesville in the home white. Game just underway here at Carmel High School. Nice crowd filing in on a beautiful night in Indiana. Three-pointer, no good. Rebound controlled by the Millers. They'll get another look. Well, again, you look at Noblesville, it's motion offense, Mark. They do a nice job of it, a nice job. Well-drilled, well-schooled offensive team. Take care of the basketball well. Cut well, screen well out of their motion. And really, Mark, I don't think you expect to see a great amount of scoring in a game like this because these are both teams that handle the ball well. They defend well. Good strong move to the bucket, the finish. Well, you're going to see Gary Harris do that a lot. I mean, they're going to take advantage of his ability to play inside out. He's one of the more dynamic players in the state as a sophomore. We know that John Beeline in attendance tonight from Michigan. They've already offered him. They love the kid. And you can see one of the reasons why. Noblesville with the basketball, nothing doing on their last trip. Quick look down low, open underneath for the easy deuce. Well, great pass, great look inside for Pervlesis. And it was just a situation where Mikhailovich tried to help, gave help, didn't get back and recover quickly enough to take away the pass. They'll swing it. Gary Harris in the paint and a foul on Noblesville. Kick in the corner, they'll swing it out. Deep three-pointer. Bingo. Will Klein Richard with a uh, nice catch and shoot. He's got the range. He's a kid who can knock down jump shots. It's just that good inside out that they do. Five-nothing Hamilton Southeastern after the Klein Richard three-pointer. Drive to the bucket. Ball shoveled out of bounds off the leg of the Royals. Ill-prepared and, and not schooled on how to play. Quickly a good look at him there at the free throw line for a couple. That rims out, Hamilton Southeastern controls. Royals lost to Lawrence North in the regionals at Hinkle last year, 50-45, and because we did that game, they led most of the way. You know, they had a great run last year, and they played a good Lawrence North team, and but you know, had done a great job to get to that particular point. Noblesville trying to avenge a loss last year to Hamilton Southeastern in the sixth one. That'll help the cause a little bit. Leland Brown with a trifecta. Yeah, just good recognition on the part of Noblesville, but a mistake defensively on the part of Hamilton Southeastern. No rotation out to cover Brown. Nobody getting a hand in his face for an uncontested three. Boy, things are heating up a little bit. Well, they really are. I think we got past the early game jitters with Will Klein Richard knocking down his second consecutive three. Again, off the catch, in rhythm, good stroke. Big basket to counter the three by Brown. We were at... Uh... I mean, I know tonight started with an air ball on Noblesville's end, but, you know, we, we were at Beach Grove Tuesday night, and, and, and don't get me wrong, great basketball teams there, right. but this uh, travel there. You look at the numbers of bodies. I think you also look at the pace and literally the execution of the game to this point. Good, strong move to the bucket, high off the glass. It'll wave him off. Just uh, one, maybe one extra bounce, great defensive effort. It's, again, it's a hallmark of what Noblesville does under Dave McCullough. You're going to have to work hard and execute well at the half court to score. 420, left of the quarter. Nice backdoor cut, and he missed the easy layup. Had Leland Brown just healed it. Kick in the corner. That three is no good, but it's controlled by the Royals. Tapped up. Hamilton Southeastern beating and banging on the glass. Give that one to Tyler Wheeler. Well, Mikhailovich kept it alive. Great job on the part of Starr to keep it alive. And right there, Wheeler, pretty opportunistic. Nobody around to get a body on him. Baseline left, 16-footer, no. Rebound controlled. By the Royals. A little quick, a little quicker than what you want. One of the things that Southeastern's done right now is they're trying to switch every screen. They've made a couple of mistakes, been caught at it, but they've tried to, to, to switch as many of those screens as they can. 
Dave McCullough looking for career win number 410 tonight. Brian Satterfield looking for his 135th career win. I have to give love to Coach Satterfield because he is a Plainfield boy. Know his parents real well. I've known him for a long time. Oh, nice. My. Fade away, <laughs> kiss off the glass. Tyler Wheeler has yeah. four early. Got him by a deuce, 57-55. Having a Southeastern, a sectional champion a year ago. Beating Carmel, 60-46. to Also beat Noblesville, 56-47 in this very same sectional. Now you see the classic checkers and chess match after timeouts. Hamilton Southeastern comes out. 2-3 zone after the timeout. Make Noblesville have to adjust. It's a little straight 2-3, trying to just do the normal lanes that you play it in. Good look down low. Open on the baseline for the easy deuce was well, Jake Yeri. Great recognition by Leland Brown. A little short corner. You overload a side. You try to attack from behind and wide open Yeri on the baseline. Big basket, really important basket for him. Tough down low, bobble yeah, to travel. Gregory just a, a tremendous lift off the bench. Mark, he is a good football player. I know interest in IU and others, and he is a solid athlete. The uh, Royals back man-to-man -man now after the one try at the zone on the inbound play. Boy, speaking of Carmel and the IU connection, how about uh, the shock waves <laughs> that went through the state with oh, Lamar yeah. Arnie announced oh, yeah. he was going back to Bloomington. Very big. Shot missed down low by Leland Brown. That's the second layup he's missed in the last couple of trips down the floor. Oh, nice great look pass. inside great and pass. the finish. Randy Cameron Gregory. Olson. Cameron Olson, great pass on the base, on the drive, the kick out, and he recognizes Gregory going to the hoop for an easy basket. Noblesville needs a bucket here. Trail by six. Minute 25 to play in the first quarter. Game number one of our doubleheader tonight. That you can necessarily approximate that well in practice. Takes a little bit of time to adjust. Jacoby Bledsoe into the ball game for Hamilton Southeastern. Nice strong drive. Too high off the glass. Knocked out of bounds. Saved back in bounds. And they say the Miller mm, stepped on the out of bounds line. It'll go back to Hamilton Southeastern. Jake Brown has come in to take his spot. Pervalicious into the ball game. Zach Gentry among the substitutions for Noblesville. Now Noblesville now going zone on the inbound. A little one, two, two, little three, two, odd numbered front zone. Under a minute to play in the quarter. 14-8 Royals yeah. looking to go back to back in terms of sectional championships. You know, it's a pretty good move on the part of Dave McCullough because with the uh, rotation of personnel, this is not a, a, a group with Hamilton Southeastern that shoots the ball that well from the perimeter. Missed three. Harris tracks it down, dribbles it back out. Now there's 20 seconds left on the clock, and Brian Satterfield says, unless it's a wide-open layup, let's play for one. Absolutely. Around the seven-second mark, I would imagine he'll start the offense. We're just now to 10. Well, what you'll see is they'll try to set a high screen out front for him and try to get him uh, going somewhere. He'll cross over, float it up from six, and rolls it? around it in. How about it? Or just let him do what he does. 